I'm really happy that uh, this year we're going to do the report of, uh, the report of the board as part of the public um, program. In the past, this was part of our general assembly. And um, all the same goes for the working group reports, which are going to be later today. Um, but let's start with the report of the board. Um, as you might know, KDEV is a nonprofit that supports the KDEV community and their support that is um, elected and responsible for all the things that DEV does. Um, we have Eike, who is our treasurer, Alice, our vice president, Sandro, board member, and Thomas, another board member, and me as This academy and only my term is finished. I joined, uh, joined the board in 2015. So at uh, our general uh, assembly, which will happen on this Monday, just after lunch, we, uh, we uh, will have the elections to choose a new person for this uh, open position. So far we have just uh, one candidate, which is Andy. I So uh, yes, uh, Monday is uh, afternoon a new board composition uh, will, uh, will be uh, announced. We still can have new candidates stepping up at the last minute since in uh, our rules of association new candidates can step up, step up during the AGM. And now uh, talking about members, uh, we have two new members, that's the rest. very, very bad, it's, it's all your fault. Uh, remember, you have to invite the, the contributors to your projects to join the, the, the EV, because well, we need them in heaven. So uh, last year we had 16 new people, this year just, six, uh, just two. That's um, well, not great. Um, we also have the individual supporting members. These are people who uh, sponsor uh, Daily, uh, yearly, and we have uh, about 50 more than last year, which is great. And uh, 10 new campaign members, so thanks to all of them. Please give them a hand.
are some <laughs> rules and some um, stuff that, that, that we share uh, with them. It's been mostly to organize uh, events in the past or to suck uh, mostly. Then we also have some other affiliations with different organizations. We have the local American organizations, which is still just in Spain and has only been in Spain for a while. If you're running a local group, I know that many of you are considered well affiliating with the KDEV. I'm, I'm talking about a local group of, of KDE, like if you're doing a local thing or something else, you don't have to affiliate with the KDEV. But if you're doing KDE things locally, uh, it makes sense to well, formalize this relationship. We are all grown ups nowadays, so it, it makes a lot of sense. We also have uh, affiliates like XFP, OSI, OIM. Well, it's a lot of, of um, acronyms, but uh, all of them are important to us. Okay. All right. Um, KDEV also has staff and contractors, um, specifically Petra, to have a board and lead KDEV as a whole with accounting, travel booking, all these kinds of things, and she's a great help to make sure you can all get here and get reimbursed and all these things. Um, and uh, to contractors who help us improve our outreach to the world, um, Ivana and Paul. Um, are you here? Also with Petra? There's Ivana. Um, Paul? Yeah, yeah, Paul, Petra? Probably outside making sure that things run. <laughs> have been submitted to us by uh, Paul and Ivana and what they feel they've accomplished in the past year. Uh, we think we are very happy that uh, Promo has become a thing again. Specifically, it has become an institution that others in the community can call upon and rely on to get things done. Quite similar, perhaps, to how SysAdmin has worked previously, where we are already accustomed to being able to reach out to SysAdmin to get help with something and we know what this admin can do for us. It's become the same thing with promo. Um, we have managed to establish processes. We know when to invoke promo and what they can do. And they have become a well-oiled machine in publishing stories for the community about our accomplishments. And I think we've seen the results in the feedback we get from the wider ecosystem and also starting from outside the immediate free software bubble, which is something that we're still going after. So, yeah, that's been going really well. Now, next year we want to have Academy again, of course. Um, we put out a call for locations um, very shortly after last year's Academy. So far, we haven't received any submissions. That's a bit bad, but um, it's also not, unpre <coughs> it's not unprecedented, and we expect to get some so very soon. And um, perhaps for the first time, we've made it very explicit that we are open to locations outside of Europe as well. This has technically been true in the past, but this time we decided to include it in the call for locations. Um, we think we're ready as a community and also our funding situation allows for it. So yeah, we hope that might happen. And very much we want to talk to any of you who have locations in mind or are even thinking about hosting Academy next year. Now, sprints. Um, this is another thing that has gone quite well. Um, the number of sprints we, as a community, um, organized and held last year is up again, which is, has been great to see. Um, we've heard good things from the people who have held sprints. People seem to be happy with how it's working. Um, next year, we expect this to continue. In fact, we might even have more sprints than this list. Namely, um, all of our goal sprints are upcoming, either in the second half of this year or perhaps early next year. Yeah. All right. So, um, in addition to the sprints, we've been organizing our own conferences for many, many years. And last year we had the Academy in 2017 in uh, Almeria, many of you maybe have been there. And we have this year Academy, we are here. And uh, also last year we had the first edition of the Cute Conversation.
Brazil, which was the first Git conference in Latin America. It happened in Sao Paulo. And the, second, uh, the second edition is going like to happen as well. It's, uh, it was uh, organized by a group of KD Brazilian contributors. And uh, also, there are a lot of conferences that they are not uh, organized by uh, ourselves, but we have a sort of KD presence, uh, presence in. In the last uh, year, uh, we had so uh, we uh, we started to have a, a lot of KD presence, mostly in some conferences who, uh, that take place in in those places uh, where KD still doesn't have a very very strong presence. That's the case, for example, and for uh, Ohio Linux Fest and a lot of conferences in. So uh, last year we held uh, two fundraising campaigns. Uh, one was for the Randa Sprints and one was the end of the year campaign. Um, they both went fairly well. Randa came close to hitting its goal. The end of year campaign did very well. Um, we want to specifically thank Lace for putting a lot of work into that. Um, the fundraising campaigns are also an example of what we just talked about on the promo side, where we've seen our fundraising working group work together with the promo community to get our campaigns out there and yeah that's been working really well and it went better the second time than the first time and we expect to expand upon that with future campaigns. Then um, we got an unusually large donation last year from the Pineapple Fund who is an anonymous guy who racked up lots of money using Bitcoin and decided to uh, spread some of his wealth to many free software and um, other free culture organizations. We got $200,000 from them. Um, this has um, increased our income dramatically and has posed us with the challenge of how to spend money, which is an ongoing discussion um, with the EV membership. Um, we have gathered feedback from the membership on, and from the wider community for that matter on what they would like us uh, to do with that money and we have a decent set of ideas and we are in the process of realizing them together with the membership. Um, we have managed to bring more people than ever to Academy this year with travel support and we have been able to fund the Academy social event also better than ever. I can't confirm that we'll have pineapples there but that would be awesome. Um, yeah. Um, other things we've talked about is putting some money into improving our documentation efforts in a similar way perhaps as we've done with Promo. And yeah, we'll see what the results are in the coming year. It's going to be quite exciting. It's also a new thing for us. It represents the EV scaling up its, its activities, which is always, it involves learning and, and discussions. It's going to be interesting.
was that we um, put together collect collaboratively the proposals for the goals and voted on them and got uh, three main goals. Um, top-notch usability and connectivity for basic software, privacy software, and streamlined onboarding for new contributors. Um, and I am super happy with those goals, and I'm especially happy about that because two of the three successful proposals were proposed by new people, people who uh, hadn't been a big part of our community before. And it's really cool that this process um, empowered them to, to be a part of it and have their voice heard. And our community agreeing that their ideas um, were good. Um, a lot of things happened. Um, you already heard in uh, the privacy panel and in uh, Neofitos talk about onboarding and we'll hear Nate tomorrow talking about um, usability and productivity and the work that's been going on around there. Um, but one of the things we've done, for example, the three of, um, three of us, unfortunately, Sebas couldn't join, um, was in Ask Me Anything on Reddit, where people um, could ask us anything um, related to the goals, and it um, went really well. People ask good questions, and um, we're excited about that. Um, I think we should do that more often for other things around IT. Um, now, the question for me is, how do we go on? with those goals. And for that, I would like uh, to do a vote on Monday um, to basically look back at how things have been going so far, what was good, what was not good, and um, how we should go on with them. I would love to see many of you there. <coughs> All right, and then um, to the meat of it. Um, as part of these reports, we always say what we want to do over the next year, what we think is important for the organization to achieve and to do. And last year, um, we said we um, want to focus on the advisory board and making sure that it is a healthy organization and that uh, we maintain the current activity. Um, and that has largely worked out, but there's um, more we can improve over the next year. Um, for evolving KDE, we said we want to finalize the mission and strategy. Um, we have done that, we have uh, voted on the goals, so that's um, great. For Academy 2018, we said um, we want to leverage the advantage that we had by knowing very early on um, where Academy is going to be. Um, for example, by uh, spending more time on the program, spending more time on contacting the sponsors, um, getting more people here to this event. And I think to a large extent, um, we succeeded in that. Um, again, we couldn't do better, but this worked out very well. Um, in terms of fundraising, um, we said we want an active working group that works together on uh, our campaigns. We wanted to make more use of CDC and as a campaign um, tool and allow our campaigns more with promo. And I think um, in that part, we succeeded. Um, we still have a lot more work to do to make use of CBCM. Um, and the uh, working group itself um, is on the right track, I think. And we need to put more work into uh, figuring out how working groups as a whole um, can work better, but um, that is good. Um, <coughs> in terms of outreach, um, we said we want to grow a sustainable team and share uh, Ivana's and, and Paul's know-how within the KDE community and, and give the rest of the community more insight in what is happening um, around our products. Um, and the promo team is doing much more, seems much more active and, and healthy than it has in the past. Um, I think we can do more in sharing what the promo team knows and has with the rest of the community. All right, which brings us to next year. Um, what matters um, for your organization? Um, Academy 2019, um, it should be a great event and we should find a good location soon that many uh, people can come to and attend. Um, for evolving KDE, we need to 
figure out how to keep up the momentum that we have around the goals now and determine how we move forward um, with existing goals and adding new goals. Um, we also need to spend time in better understanding the companies and the organizations around us. Um, since over the last uh, years, year, um, new uh, companies uh, came into our ecosystem and, and wants, want to work with us. And that's a great thing, but um, we need to understand this all better to, to really make uh, the best use of it for our community. Um, in terms of HR, um, we need to get a shared understanding with membership and the community at large uh, around hiring and contracting. When do we hire people, when do we contract people, when do we not do that, and for what kind of uh, tasks. And um, we want to spend some time on improving our HR processes as a well. whole. Um, and the last thing, uh, as you have seen, over the last year we only added two new members uh, to the we think that is way too few. Um, so we want to spend some time on, on um, recruiting new members to the EV and seeing what um, is preventing new members from joining the EV and if there's anything we can do about this. And that is our report. Thank you so much.
looking at new things to do. Um, I think as a community, we, we tend to be very cautious, which is a good thing. And so far, the discussions that we've had about how to spend the money have perhaps been dominated by caution, which is a good thing. We should be careful, but we should also decide to consciously take some risks. I think. And I'm hoping that the discussion moves in that direction, moves forward, and that we get a bit excited again about what we can do now that we have that money. Um, I think if we look at very recent decisions that we decided to spend some money, I think the return on our investment has been very high. We've done the experiment with our marketing contractors. I think it has succeeded. Um, I think the scale and the mood of this academy is partly a result of that, and some of the new faces we've seen here, and we are seeing here, are a result of that. 